Hi everyone. I wanted to prepare an English lesson for you to do based on this book called I Am Enough by Grace Byers. And this lesson could form part of your well-being week. Well-being is all about feeling, um, it's when we feel happy, comfortable, safe. That's what well-being is. And when I read this book, I thought that was a really, it's a really good way of helping us to feel that way because it makes us think about us and what we are all capable of and what we can all do. And the message is that we are enough. It's written like a poem and there's a really simple structure to it. So what I want us to do at the end is actually to have a go at writing a couple of verses ourselves. But I'll start by sharing the story with you so you can see if you can pick up the pattern of the verses yourself. I Am Enough by Grace Byers. Like the sun, I'm here to shine. Like the voice, I'm here to sing. Like the bird, I'm here to fly and soar high over everything. Like the trees, I'm here to grow. Like the mountains, here to stand. Like time, I'm here to be and be everything I can. Like the champ, I'm here to fight. Like the heart, I'm here to love. Like a ladder, here to climb. And like the air, to rise above. Like the wind, I'm here to push. Like a rope, I'm here to pull. And like the rain, I'm here to pour and drip and fall until I'm full. Like the moon, I'm here to dream. Like the student, here to learn. Like the water, here to swell. And like the fire, here to burn. Like the winner, I'm here to win. And if I don't, get up again. I know that I may sometimes cry, but even then, I'm here to try. I'm not meant to be like you. You're not meant to be like me. Sometimes we will get along and sometimes we will disagree. I know that we don't look the same. Our skin, our eyes, our hair, our frame. But that does not dictate our worth. We both have places here on earth. And in the end, we are right here to live a life of love, not fear. To help each other when it's tough. And to say together, I am enough. There's a lovely message within that poem that even though each one of us is so different, we're actually all here to do so many things and we are all enough, every single one of us. But there's also a very simple pattern to the poem. Let's just have a look at it written down and that will help you to see the pattern. Like the sun, I'm here to shine. Like the voice, I'm here to sing. Like the bird, I'm here to fly and soar high over everything. Like the trees, I'm here to grow. Like the mountains, here to stand. Like time, I'm here to be and be everything I can. You can see the pattern there, can't you? The poet, Grace, she makes three comparisons in each verse and then finishes it with an extra idea. Like the sun, 
So she takes the sun and thinks about what the sun does. The sun shines like the voice. And she thinks about what a voice can do. It can sing. And then the final part of that um, section is like the bird and a bird flies. And then she adds a bit extra. Not only does it fly, but it soars high over everything. So that's the pattern of the verse until we get to the end. And then the very end of the poem, Grace moves away from that pattern to finish things off. And this is how she finishes. I know that we don't look the same. Our skin, our eyes, our hair, our frame. But that does not dictate our worth. What she's saying is it doesn't matter what we look like. Um, that's not what's important. We both have places here on earth. And in the end, we are right here to live a life of love, not fear, to help each other when it's tough and to say together, I am enough. So she changes the pattern at the end of the poem to bring it all together and to make sure that everybody understands what her message is, that even though we're all different, we are all enough. So I took the pattern and presented it like this. So I put some blanks in. So on the left hand side of the screen is the actual verse. And then I've taken the blank, the words out so that I can now have a go at writing my own ideas. So like the, I'm here to, like the, I'm here to, like the, I'm here to, and, and then I need to add an extra idea. So what I did was I asked some family at home to give me some nouns, some naming words. And then I looked at their list and I chose some that I thought I might be able to use for my poem. So these are the words that they gave me. They said trees, which is interesting because that's one of the ideas that Grace uses. Leaves, stars. I did ask them in the evening and one of them actually looked out of the window and named the things they could see. And then I was given the idea pencil, present and game. Now, those are just six of the ideas that I was given that I quite liked. So when you have a go at writing your own verses, ask somebody else to help you come up with some ideas for what you could include. So you want some nouns, some naming words, some things that you can use in your poem. So then I wrote out again the structure of the poem. Like the, I'm here to. Like the, I'm here to. Like the, I'm here to. And I had to think about what each of the nouns that I've been given would actually do. So if we go back, trees, what do trees do that I could say I also do or I am here to do? What do leaves do that I could say I'm here to do? Let's see if I can share how we might go about taking this and growing our poem. So if I take the idea of trees, trees, what do they do? Um, I think Grace in her poem uses the idea that they stand tall. Um, what else do they do? Well, they grow. Um, you could say that trees reach for the sky. Um, I think that's enough. So I've got three ideas that I might be able to take when I'm writing my verse. Now leaves, what do leaves do? Um, leaves fall, don't they? They actually fall to the ground in autumn. Um, I know a nice idea actually, when, when it's autumn and the wind blows and the leaves are on the ground, it's like the leaves dance in the wind. So I'm, I think I'm gonna take that idea that leaves dance. I think I've got an idea there. Okay, stars, what do stars do? Stars, um, well, they come out at night, don't they? But I don't know if I could use that idea in my poem. Like the stars, I come out at night. I can't really do that, can I? I'm not a nocturnal creature. I'm not somebody who only comes out at night. So I'm not gonna use that idea. Um, 
stars shine. Um, shooting stars, stars shoot, I'm gonna put shooting stars through the sky. They blaze. Maybe I could use some of those ideas. A pencil. Now, what does a pencil do or what do we use a pencil for? Um, we use it for drawing, don't we? We use a pencil to write. Um, we use pencils in art when we want to be creative. And in actually the same with writing, when we want to write stories, we'd use a pencil. So I'm gonna put an idea in there that we use pencils to be creative. Now presents, what do presents do? <gasps> well, we give presents, don't we? So we're generous, so we give presents. Um, we can be generous with presents. Um, but presents, also, presents bring happiness, don't they? If somebody gives you a present, you feel happy or you feel joy. So maybe I could use that idea, like the presents, I'm here to make people happy. Like presents, I'm here to bring joy. Game. Mm, what can I say about game? What does a game do? Um, like a game, I'm here to play. Um, I'm going to say entertain, but I don't know if I am here to entertain. Is that part of my life? I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that. So I am going to take those ideas now and I'm actually going to pause for a moment um, and I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to take some time to see if I can fit those ideas into a poem so that I follow the pattern of Grace's poem in I Am Enough, but I use my own ideas to write a couple of verses. So I'm just going to pause the video while I take some thinking time. And I'd like you to take some thinking time too. Perhaps you could start collecting ideas for what you will put in the poem, okay? Okay, so I've got some ideas. Um, it might be that as I'm writing, I still move things around or I still edit and swap ideas in and out. And that's okay, that's part of the writing process. We don't always get it right the first time. So, I am enough. I am going to say, like the trees, I'm here to, and I decided that like the trees, I'm here to grow. And I'm thinking, I'm not just here to grow taller, but I'm also here to grow as a person. So to grow in how I love people, in how I treat people, in how I understand people, I'm here to grow and to learn. So like the trees, I'm here to grow. That's my first line. And then I thought, because I've used trees, I'd carry on with the idea of using something from nature and I'm going to use the leaves. Like the leaves, I'm here to, and I've decided to use the word dance because I think sometimes we just need to relax, um, listen to some music and just dance and not always be serious and straight, but yeah, just to relax and have a good time. So that's what I mean by that line, like the leaves, I'm here to dance. The idea that I thought would follow on from there, and again, I've taken the idea from nature. So my three first three ideas are things that are outside from the world of creation, from the world of nature. So I've used like the stars. And I really thought about this one. I, I wasn't sure because I was thinking shooting stars travel, perhaps I could use that idea, but I think I'm going to use like the stars, I'm here to shine bright. Now I've got to add an extra idea and if I can make it rhyme with bright, that's what I need to do. So let's read it so far. Like the trees, I'm here to grow. Like the leaves, I'm here to dance. Like the stars, I'm here to shine bright and, and, so like the stars, I'm here to shine bright and, how about this, bring hope to the darkest, oh, 
darkest night. There's something, if you go out walking at night and you look up and you see the stars, I certainly feel when I look at them, I feel hope because I realize how big the universe is and how exciting it is. And I'm just a small part of that. And that actually makes me feel good. That makes me feel hopeful. So let me see what this sounds like. Like the trees, I'm here to grow. Like the leaves, I'm here to dance. Like the stars, I'm here to shine bright and bring hope to the darkest night. So I have actually managed to make it rhyme. And I'm still happy with the idea. If I wasn't happy with the idea, I, it wouldn't matter that it didn't rhyme if I had to change that. The most important thing is the idea, not the rhyme, okay? So the other three words I had, what were they? Present, game, and pencil. So I'm going to put those together in the next verse. So which one shall I start with? Like the pencil, I'm here to, now I talked about the idea of we use a pencil to write stories, we use a pencil to draw. So I'm going to put, I'm here to create because we are here to live our lives and to create things that nobody else can do. I can write a story that nobody else could write because it's my ideas and no one else will have exactly the same ideas as me. If we were both to sit and do a picture, even if we were painting the same thing, they'd be different because we are different people and we see things differently. So we are all here to create. So like the pencil, I'm here to create. I think I'll go for present next. Like the present, so think about how it is when we get present. I talked about happiness, didn't I? And joy, like the present, I'm here to, I'm gonna put bring joy rather than happiness. So part of my role, part of my life should be about bringing joy to others. Like the pencil I'm here to create, like the present I'm here to bring joy. So the next one was game. Like the game I'm here to, um, like the game I'm here to play. Oh, I know, straight away I've got an idea. Like the game I'm here to play, and make the most of every day. Brilliant. What I'm going to do, I'm going to save that and then read it through and see if I am still happy with it when I read both verses through together, okay? So just give me a second and I will save this. Okay, so this is I Am Enough by Miss Jackson. Like the trees, I'm here to grow. Like the leaves, I'm here to dance. Like the stars, I'm here to shine bright and bring hope to the darkest night. Like the pencil, I'm here to create. Like the present, I'm here to bring joy. Like the game, I'm here to play and make the most of every day. That sounds okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish it with Grace's verse that she finishes the book with. So she finishes it with, I know that we don't look the same, our skin, our eyes, our hair, our frame, but that does not dictate our worth. We both have places here on earth. And in the end, we are right here to live a life of love, not fear, to help each other when it's tough and to say together, I am enough. I would really like you now to take half an hour to have a go at writing two verses yourself. And what we have posted up is we've posted up an example of the structure. So a sheet like this, where we have given the structure and you can fill in the blanks and then we put out the final verse of the poem. I think that the thing that I found hardest was thinking of um, the nouns, the, the objects, the things that I was going to use for my verses. And that's why I asked other people to give them to me, because I was almost thinking about it too, too much. I was trying to be too clever. And when I just said to somebody, name six things that you can see, or six things that you're thinking about, and they gave me lots of ideas, I could then pick the ones that I thought would work for the poem. So I'd suggest you do that if you're stuck. Ask other people for the objects, for the things that you can use for the beginning of each line. 
and then think about what those things do. So like I said, a tree, it grows, it stands tall. Um, the present, it brings joy. It can also be unwrapped and things like that. So take some time to play around with the ideas and then fit them into the structure of the poem and send your poems either to the office so that they come straight to me um, or to your teacher through the homework address. And please call it I am enough by and then put your name. OK, right. Enjoy that. And I will look forward to seeing the results and what you produce. OK, thank you, everyone.